friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy July, happy 4th of July weekend. I am coming to you today with my June favorites. I had quite a few WW food favorites, some home favorites, as well as of course some beauty skincare favorites as well. So if you are excited for another favorites video, give this one a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. And hit the subscribe button so you never miss a single video. I do a favorites video every month and I do upload at least five times per week. Check out the description box down below for everything that I shared with you in today's video, with the exception of the few things that you can pick up at your local grocery store. You'll also find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to chat with me directly. Of course, everything I shared today, as well as links and discounts to all of my other favorite things, and my Facebook group will be down in the description box. So head on over, join us there as well. So we have a lot to go over, so let's jump into my June favorite. I'm going to start with my WW or my Weight Watchers of food favorites, starting with the items that are cold and need to go back into my refrigerator because it's over 100 degrees today. I have a couple of new beverage favorites. Well, not really new, but, but beverages that have stolen my heart over the month of June. First is my kombucha. This is my favorite GT Synergy kombucha, but this is in the flavor California Citrus. So this is a new to me flavor. I believe this is a new summer flavor as well. This is delicious. It is a orange juice flavored kombucha. So you're getting all the benefits of the good probiotics in kombucha. And it tastes like kind of a watered down, I know that doesn't sound good, but it does taste like a watered down orange juice. It's delicious. I will constantly be picking this up as long as it's available. I didn't mention, but all of the points will be here on the screen as well. This is a juice that I've purchased several times in the past, but I have really been loving this as the weather's gotten warmer. And this is Suja. This is a all natural juice. This is in the Vibrant Probiotic. It says purified water, strawberry, raspberry, lemon, and honey. It's 60 calories for the entire bottle. I only count this as one point. I generally only count kombucha as one point as well, even though WW likes to call it three points. So this is one point to me. It's really good. It's refreshing. It's nice and clean ingredient. Very different than a lot of the bottled sugar filled juices. These are incredible. You know how excited I was that Trader Joe's brought back their light shredded mozzarella. It's still 60 calories for one ounce or a quarter of a cup, which is incredible. The old blend used to be one point and they took it off the shelves for a while because they said the nutritional information wasn't accurate. I don't know what changed. I know it's still 60 calories, but now it's two points for one ounce or a quarter of a cup, which is still less than regular mozzarella cheese, which falls about three points and about 80 calories for that quarter cup serving. So this is really good. This is the second bag. We've already been through an entire bag. If you have Trader Joe's near you, pick this up. It's the best mozzarella cheese and you can't beat the points and calories. You know I've shared the healthy eating all the time in Go Bars in the past, but this is a flavor that I've fallen in love with. This is the natural peanut butter low carb chia protein bar. What I love about this bar, besides the fact that it tastes incredible, is it is high in protein. Most of the healthy eating bars are eight to nine grams of protein, but you're getting a lot more in this bar because it's made with protein powder as well as chia seeds. It's still 205 calories, an amazing macro profile, but it packs 14 grams of protein. Protein. I love these bars. I love this small business. I love the owner. This is linked down below with 10% off for you. Not an affiliate link, just simply gets you 10% off and supports a really good brand. These are clean, 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 and have perfect macros. Next are a couple of new collagen powders that I have fallen in love with. You guys know that I put Vital Proteins in my coffee every single morning I have for well over a year. It has made a huge difference in my hair, my skin, and my nails. I will also link down in the description box the video that I did on my nutrition channel all about collagen and why it's important. But this is a new woman-owned brand. It's actually called Collagen For Her. There's 10 grams of protein 
per scoop, it's 40 calories, so it's very close to Vital Proteins. It is actually one gram of protein more than Vital Proteins per scoop. This is the unflavored collagen peptide powder. So this is basically Vital Proteins, but the collagen for her brand. My favorite part about this collagen, besides the fact that it supports a small business, is this brand is made for women. Our bodies require different supplements than men. So they created an entire collagen line for women. It's affordable. It's easily accessible online. You, If you don't have a Costco membership and can pick up the Vital Proteins for a good price, you pay a lot of money for that in the store. I've been using this now for a couple of weeks and I have to say this is better. It dissolves like a dream in hot or cold, which I did struggle with Vital Proteins in cold beverages. This dissolves perfectly. It is unflavored. It doesn't change the flavor or texture. It's just a really good supplement made for women. I'll link their website down below. I did reach out to see if I could get a discount code for you guys. So I'll, if I can, I'll make sure that's linked down below as well. But this again is the Collagen For Her Collagen Peptide Powder. I also have the Collagen For Her Beauty Blend. This is a marine collagen supplement. It has biotin, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin C. Now, I put hyaluronic acid and vitamin C on my face every single day, and I take a biotin hair, skin, and nail gummy vitamin every day. This has all of that in there. It's made for women once again, and it provides the benefits of marine collagen, as well as all of those other hair, skin, nail, and beauty components like the biotin, the hyaluronic acid, and the vitamin C. I will put one scoop of this and one scoop of this in my coffee every single morning. I've also added this to protein shakes or smoothies as well. It doesn't have any flavor. It dissolves perfectly, just like the traditional collagen powder. And again, you're doing the world good. You're supporting a small business. You're getting a superior product at a reasonable price. So definitely check them out down below. My next food favorite is from the Dollar Tree. I hold this in my Dollar Tree snack video. These are the Munch Rights apple flavored baked puffs. This is my third bag. I love these. These have such a good flavor. Crunch, they taste like apple, but not an artificial apple. They're 140 calories for one ounce. There's three servings in the bag. These are delicious. If you want that crunchy, sweet snack, highly recommend. Again, I did pick them up at my Dollar Tree. You may be able to find this Munch Rights brand at your local grocery store as well. Next up is this Allulose Sweetener from Trader Joe's. So I hauled this in a grocery haul a couple weeks ago, and this is my second bag of this as well. This sweetener is amazing. It is a mix of allulose and stevia, so it's a good clean sugar substitute. Allulose is a naturally derived sweetener from figs and raisins, and stevia is one of the top-notch sugar, sugar substitutes out there. It's zero calories in a two teaspoon serving. WW counts this is zero. So I'll replace sugar in baked goods or in my oatmeal or really anything that I would add sugar to with this allulose sweetener blend. It's incredible. If you have a Trader Joe's, definitely pick it up. Now I've shared these bars before in a favorites video. These are the Raw Rev Glow Bars. I've kind of rediscovered these in the month of June. I've been eating them pretty much on a regular basis. This is a nice, clean, bar. It makes a great snack. You can even pair this with some fruit for a really good easy breakfast or lunch. They range in protein grams of 10 to 14 depending on the flavor. This particular one is the double chocolate brownie batter. It's so good. It has 12 grams of protein, 14 grams of fiber, and only 4 grams of sugar. These have nice, clean, clean ingredients. I do have a discount code with Raw Rev, so I'll make sure it's down below for you. Highly, highly recommend if you want a good bar with clean ingredients. I've also been obsessed with these almonds during the month of June. These are the Blue Diamond Wasabi and Soy Sauce Almonds. I hauled these in my last massive grocery haul at Costco. The bag is down to here. I love these almonds. They're so good. They have such great flavor. They're a great source of healthy fat and protein. I just have a serving of them. It's 170 calories and it has six grams of protein. I love this flavor. If you love soy sauce and wasabi, pick these up. Next is this Sonoma Gourmet Creamy Spinach Alfredo Sauce. I got this in my Imperfect Foods order. This is the second jar that we've purchased. It is delicious. If you love Alfredo sauce, but you want that little bit of vegetable in there with the spinach, highly recommend. It's 110 calories for a quarter of a cup, which is plenty to put on some pasta. We love this. It is creamy. It has great 
great flavor. It feels very indulgent, but it isn't high calorie or point. So I don't know where you can pick this up. Again, I bought this from Imperfect Foods. I will link Imperfect Foods down below for you. I do have $20 off of your first box so you can pick this up and add it to your cart. And my last WW food favorite is this Anthony's cheddar cheese powder. I bought this off of Amazon to create an air fryer recipe. I made a baked mac and cheese. You guys, this cheese powder is so good. Now it doesn't have perfect ingredients. It does have natural flavor, but it is much cleaner much more flavorful, a lot less points and calories than traditional mac and cheese powder. It is two tablespoons for 70 calories. It's delicious. Anytime you need that little bit of cheese, this powder comes in handy. Make your own mac and cheese, add it to vegetables. It's delicious, highly recommend. Again, I picked mine up off of Amazon. It's linked down below. Now moving into home favorites, I'm gonna start with this cute little pink portable chopper. Look at this. <laughs> I love this. I bought this off of Amazon. I actually saw it on TikTok. I picked it up and thought, is this worth the hype? It's worth the hype. All you do is pop in whatever you want to chop into the little container. You pop on the lid. It is battery operated. You hit the button and it chops. It's amazing. It's great for cleanup. If you hate chopping onions because you cry, this works out perfect for that. I have been loving this little chopper. Super affordable. And again, I picked it up off of Amazon. Now the other two home items of, that I want to share with you are items that I featured in previous videos. I wanted to give you an update on how I'm liking these two items for the home. First off is my air clear air purifier. I featured this in a what I eat in a day quite a while ago and I am loving this air purifier. We have been turning this on every single night and honestly sometimes we forget to turn it off and it runs during the day as well but it purifies the air. It has a re replaceable filter. So when the filter gets grungy and grimy, you can simply replace it. It has multiple fan speeds. So depending on the what you're wanting, you can have low, medium, or high on the speed of the fan. And it also has these really pretty colors that you can change as well. So it gives this really nice cozy ambiance to the room. So you can see here that we have this in our bedroom because we spend a lot of time in there. Our dogs spend a lot of time in there. And that is really one place that we need to purify the air. It helps asleep at night. It just makes the air feel much cleaner and purified. We've been loving our air purifier. We literally use it every single day. So next is the Clarifion. This is a negative ion generator. It's filterless. It's a mobile ionizer air air purifier that you simply plug into the wall. It eliminates pollutants, allergens, germs, smoke, bacteria, pet dander, and more. Once again, it lives in our bedroom. That's where we spend a lot of time, where our dogs spend a lot of time. You can really use this in any space that has a plug-in. You can pick this up in a single quantity or multiple quantity. You simply plug it into any outlet. There's no maintenance required. There's no filters or upkeep. It has a really pretty sleek design. It's low noise and has low energy consumption. You can use this in places like your kitchen, your closet, your bedroom, corridors, bathrooms, living rooms, really anywhere that you spend a lot of time or that you want to try to ionize the air. We've also been loving this. We are actually considering buying some more to put in some of the other rooms in our house. You know, places like bathrooms and the living room or places and places that we generally spend a lot of time. I've even considered picking one up for my office. I am loving both of these products that I shared with you in previous videos. I'll put these as well down in the description box. And last but not least, my favorite category, beauty. First, I wanna talk about self tan. A lot of you, and made comments about how tan I am. It's fake, it's self tan. I try not to spend a lot of time in the sun. It's just not good for your skin and for aging. So I have fallen in love over the month of June with Sunless Tanner. I have a couple of favorite brands and I also have a favorite self tanning mitt that I wanna share with you. The one I've been wearing the most is this Sunless Pro Spray Tanning Bronzer. This one is actually the one that I have on today. It gives me that nice tan skin with an olive undertone, which I really like. Olive versus orange is much better. This product works great because it's a spray. So you simply spray it on the skin and you rub it in with a mitt. Now I received this in a fab Fit Fun Box a long time ago. I mean, well over a year ago, and I never used it. Since I've gotten into Self Tanner, this is the first one that I reached for just because I wanted to use it up, and I'm loving it. It's a vitamin D infused. I, if I can find this, I will link it down below. Again, I got it in the subscription box a long time ago. 
but I love it and I will absolutely repurchase if I can find it. My other favorite self tanner is actually the Ulta brand in the mango and guava self tanning mousse. I have the Ultra Dark Bronze Glow Express Tan. Now this is a express tanning mousse. So you put it on and within one, two and three hours your tan starts to darken. It's very affordable because it's simply the Ulta brand. It goes on nice and smooth. And what I love about both of these tanners is it doesn't make my skin dry because when I self tan, I don't put on lotion. I want my self tan to absorb and I hate when your skin is just cakey and dry and neither one of these do that. So both of these highly recommend whether you want to spray a mousse or both. And my mitt of choice is from Saint Tropez. When I flip this around, you can see how much use I've got out of this. I really like this mitt. This is probably the best mitt that I've ever used. It's incredibly soft. It doesn't soak up a ton of product. This side right here is about seven times of self tanning and it still has some life in it. It's starting to get a little bit crusty, but it still definitely has a little bit of life left in it. It's an affordable mitt and again, it's double-sided so you can do several, several self tans before it needs replaced. This has been my favorite foundation over the last month. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation and I have mine in the color light. What I've been doing is mixing this with a darker foundation. Since I'm self tanned, I'm a little bit darker skin and of course I want my face to match my body. So I've been mixing this with a little darker foundation, but you guys, for the price of this ColourPop foundation, it's incredible. I would say it's a light to medium coverage. It goes on so good. You don't even notice that it's on your skin. This is actually the foundation that I'm wearing today. I love the little pump top. I picked mine up off of Ulta. If you're not subscribed to my beauty channel, definitely subscribe because I'm going to be doing a full face of ColourPop. And this, of course, is the foundation that I'll be using in that video. I've also been obsessed with this e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss. This is the gloss I'm wearing today and it's in the color Sparkling Rose. I also did a full face of e.l.f. on my beauty channel, so I'll make sure my beauty channel is linked down below for you. But I really like this gloss. It is a plumping gloss, but I will say it has zero tingle. I hate that tingle that comes with a plumping gloss. This doesn't have that, but it still plumps your lips. I love the color. I love the sheen and the shine. It doesn't feel sticky or heavy on the lips. It's affordable. Yes, I will be picking up several more shades. Next up is this under eye balm from Flower Beauty. It's a color correcting under eye balm. It's amazing. It corrects any darkness. Peach will correct any dark circles under the eyes. But why I love this the most is it adds hydration. So as I'm aging, I'm getting crepey under eyes. They're becoming textured and I have fine lines and wrinkles. This adds not only color correcting, but also hydration. I put this on before applying any foundation or concealer and it really just helps brighten that under eye without having to cake on a ton of concealer that makes you look old and having your eyes be crepey and textured under all that concealer. Love this. It's affordable. Again, off of Ulta. I have a couple of skincare favorites as well. Starting with this Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisturizer. You can see this is almost gone. That is how much I love it. It smells like fruity, sweet bananas. It is fantastic. This is my daytime moisturizer. So what I'll apply to my skin in the morning is generally the next product I'm going to show you, a couple of serums and then some under eye cream. And then this is my facial moisturizer for the morning. What I like about this is it moisturizes my skin, but it's not so greasy that I'm able to apply my makeup on top of it. Love this. Love, love, love. It's a little bit expensive. You can buy this on the Sephora website, but if you're looking for a good daytime moisturizer that you can apply makeup over, highly recommend. Next up is the Timeless Beauty Hyaluronic Acid. This is actually almost gone. I'm going to have to reorder, but this Timeless Beauty Hyaluronic Acid is not only super affordable, it is super effective. This is the first step to my morning skincare. My face is a little bit damp and I apply my hyaluronic acid. What I like about this one is it soaks into the skin quickly so you're able to continue with the rest of your skincare routine. It's not sticky. It doesn't make your skin feel dry. It's perfection and it's so incredibly affordable. This is a skincare product I will forever have in my routine and it will always be the timeless hyaluronic acid for the price 
and how effective it is. Next up is the Flower Beauty Blush Balm. This is in the color Melon, and again, I'm gonna plug my beauty channel here, but I am doing a black battle of the cream blushes where I'm going to compare nine cream blushes high end to drugstore and rank them from my favorite to my least favorite. So head on over to my beauty channel, check that out as well. That video is currently live on my channel. This cream blush from Flower Beauty is amazing. I know it looks a little scary. It is literally this bright orange color. This is the blush. This is the blush that I have on today. It blends out so nicely. It's bright. It's bold, but it's blendable. So you can build it up to make it brighter or bolder, or you can blend it out to diffuse the color a little bit. It's so inexpensive and it works so, so well. Spoiler alert, this is one of the top favorites in that video. Next up is the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. Here's what the palette looks like. I am obsessed with this. So this is a highlighter palette, but it actually includes, as you saw, four different products. And up here on the lid, it actually tells you how to use each of the products in the palette. I very much appreciate that because sometimes you get a face palette and you don't know how to apply the product. So this actually Actually walks you through the steps. So this first shade here, Barbados, this one says apply Barbados as a base to smooth skin and amplify light reflecting pearls. So I will always add that shade over the top of my finished face makeup. Number two, Maldives. It says dab Maldives from cheek to temple to set and bring out the pop. So this is actually the highlighter as well that I have on today is this Maldives. Step number three is you are going to sculpt with Aruba. Apply Aruba under cheekbones to add dimension and shape. Again, that is what you see here that really defines and chisels out my cheekbone. And lastly, the color Bora Bora is for flush. Sweet Bora Bora on the apples of your cheeks for a healthy glow. Again, that is what is on my apples and my cheeks today. So I love this. This is an all-inclusive palette. You have blush, you have highlighter, you have contour, you have bronzer. It's amazing. I actually got this in a Huda Beauty mystery box, but I'm pretty sure you can still pick up this palette on our website. If so, it's linked below. If you're looking for a good face palette, you want to save some money and buy one palette instead of four, pick up the Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palette. And last but not least, we always end out our favorites beauty section with an eyeshadow palette. This is the BH Cosmetics Smitten in Switzerland palette. So I picked up this palette late in the month of June only because, well, two reasons. Number one, I love BH Cosmetics. They have an amazing eyeshadow formula. It is super blendable, super pigmented, super affordable. And I bought this Smitten in Switzerland palette simply because it was on sale. So it was half off on the Ulta website. Look at the color story. You have neutrals, you have colors, you have shimmers and mattes. It's a 16 color eyeshadow palette and I'm obsessed with it. I have worn this several times. A couple of the days that I wore this, you guys complimented my makeup and said you loved my eyeshadow palette. You know I'm a color girl, but I also like a neutral eye every once in a while and I feel like this palette serves both purposes. This palette at the filming of this video is currently on sale for $8.50. You can't beat that for 16 eyeshadow colors that are exceptional. Generally, this is a $17 palette, which is also a very affordable price for 16 high quality eyeshadow shades. I love BH Cosmetics. I actually own several, several of their palettes and not a single one has ever not met my expectations or exceeded them. So if you are in the market for a new eyeshadow palette or you love this color story, I'll link it at the 50% off on Ulta down below. Whoosh. So those are my June favorites. We have WW Foods, Home, and Beauty. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Everything I shared with you is linked down below with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things and my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy 4th of July weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye!